Hi, this is Mark at LearnHowToGarden.com and in today's episode of The 10 Minute Gardener I'm going to show you an incredibly quirky way that my mother has been growing tomatoes in 10 minutes a day. We're in Betty's garden, as I've said on countless times, she'll only spend 10 minutes a day. She loves tomatoes, she eats them every day of the week, in fact um, she's coming down to see me later and we're going to do a video on tasting tomatoes to give you a sort of, you know, which we think are the best to grow. But uh, I popped up to her garden and I've been watching this experiment of hers all summer and I have to say um, I was rubbing my hands thinking this is never going to work you know I'm sort of 53 I know what I'm doing but I forget that you know um, she's got 30 years on that she's much better at this than me and earlier in the year when we were talking about what tomatoes we we're going to grow she, she's really keen on these tumbling toms one of the most popular varieties in Britain I don't grow them she loves them so I planted up her greenhouse and said, oh, incredibly sorry, don't have room for your tumbling toms. She said, that's fine, give me the plants anyway. And I thought, mm, they'll just, you know, get left in one side. But lo and behold, I pop up a couple of weeks later and this is what had appeared. Well, not in this shape because we're now in September. I don't know whether we can focus in on here. These, or these white things here, were a shower tidy. This was something she'd got in her spare shower, basically three plastic containers that just clipped on the shower. She'd filled them with compost and basically popped in these three tumbling toms. It breaks so many rules. They're on top of each other, they're close together. When you water one, it drips onto the other. But lo and behold, here we are. I mean, I'll turn this to show you. It's producing tomatoes. We've got the red ones, we've got the orange ones. I mean, she's not around. And they're really quite tasty. So it shows that you can go to the expense of all these technical things, but sometimes it's just best to sort of see what you've got and give it a whirl. So taking something like a shower tidy and small amount of compost, the compost is too small for these to grow. And as I've said before, Unfortunately, no one's told the tomatoes that they're growing in a second-hand shower receptacle in a small amount of compost. She's fed them on liquid seaweed, you know, and she's got a great crop. You could hang one of these on the side of your balcony, you could hang one of these on the side of your patio. Um, and to give these tumbling toms their due, probably next year we'll give them, you know, a bit more TLC, or I certainly will. Uh, and it was just, I thought, you know, it worked. It worked as an experiment for my mom. God bless her. It is great. I didn't think it would, so it just goes to show that even after sort of 40 odd years of doing this, you learn something new every time. The plants will teach you. I hope you've enjoyed that quick sort of uh, video log. If you enjoy what we're doing, you can sort of click on a link, hop over to our website, that sort of gets you subscribed to our email list. That means you get our newsletters where we cover things in a bit more detail. It gives you, you know, our complete sort of catalogue of what we've been doing, what we've been up to, and our written posts as well as our video ones. So I hope you've enjoyed that. It's Mark at uh, Learn How to Garden saying thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, be safe.